Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about Amazon S3 vectors. What is this Amazon S3 vectors? So basically it is a S3 vector bucket that is installed in preview mode. And it is a purpose-built durable vector storage solution that can uh, like reduce your cost of uploading, storing, as well as querying the vector data up to 90%. So Amazon S3 vectors, it is like basically a first of its kind of cloud object store with native support to store large vector data set and provide subsequent query performance that makes it more affordable for business that is like um, going to store a huge amount of or massive scale of data for AI ready data. So vector search like is emerging technique that is being used in generative AI applications to find basically the similar data points to given data by comparing the vector representations using distance or similarity metrics. So we will go into detail in this, but before that, like what is vectors? So the numerical representation of the unstructured data that is being created by embedding models. So we use the embedding models to generate those vector embeddings and all for our data. So that we can directly now store in the S3 vector buckets to perform our semantic searches. Now, before we proceed, let's, I will give you a quick overview of what is this vector data. So it represents you the numerical representation of real world objects, ideas, or content. It can be of uh, text, images, audio, any code snippets, some products or users. So each of them is being basically represented in the form of vectors or numbers. You can see over 0.12 minus 0 0.45. So we call it as embedding. So this embedding is being done by a model. So what is this model embedding? So it's a vector generated by AI model. We can use OpenAI or AWS background or Hugging Face. So basically that will uh, capture the meaning or the features of the input data. Like you can ha uh, like have why we, use, why we want to use this embedding models. So it can like compare the content by semantic meaning, not just by the exact words. That is the first purpose. Next, like perform some semantic search, build some recommendation systems, as well as detect duplicate or similar items. So these are the things, key things that can be resolved by using this model embeddings. That's why it's widely used in uh, generating AI. So before moving to our, let me show you, this is how it will work. Generate the vector embeddings using an embedding model. So vector data that is being stored in the vector data into X3 vectors, and we create an index and semantic search can be performed via the vector index. Along with this, we can also integrate our S3 vectors integrated with the Amazon Vector uh, knowledge bases, including with the Amazon SageMaker Unified Studio for building some cost-effective with travel augmented generation, the RAG, applications though it is uh, like integration with the open source service also we can do it so these are the three use cases we can uh, connect our vector index to the knowledge base for the amazon bedrock same we can utilize the sage maker and we can use that the collection our index collection into this amazon open source service so i will just show you a small example so we will try to uh, upload the data to this s3 vector bucket now, in order to use this uh, S3 vector bucket, in order to uh, put the data as well as query data, so there is this S3 vector embed CLI. So we need to install that. So I'll be doing it in my Visual Studio code, VS code. So make sure you have a profile uh, activated with the AWS credentials and all. So directly then we can move it with the embedding. Now, before we go with the put and the query things and all uh, with the example, we will move on to the console and we'll just create a S3 vector bucket. So let's move on to the console. So now you can see over here, our uh, S3 vector buckets are here. You can create one vector bucket. So I'm just naming it as JS1 S3 vector bucket. So that's all. Let's create the vector bucket. You can see my previously created bucket over here, and now this is a new one that I've created. Now, as I mentioned to you, in order to use this uh, CLI, we have to use this S3 vectors embed. So you can go to this GitHub, you can install this pip install, 
I will share this link in the description of the video. You can just install it, pip install, make sure the Python is installed, and your AWS credentials are being configured, given permissions are there to the bedrock. That's the key thing because we need to enable uh, one of the model in order to get the bedding. So I will show you just over here. You just go to the AWS uh, bedrock over here and make it sure you have uh, one of the models. We can choose like a Titan in order to get the bucket load. Okay, so our bucket is ready over here. We will just go and send the bucket over here. The bedrock is also there. So we can just go to the model catalog over here. You can just type it over here. Titan, it's like me check over here. Why? Okay, okay, I think. So you can see we can use this uh, Titan image generator, what we need for the text. So we can just Titan text embedding v2 version, make it sure you have the access. I already have a request of the access. So if you don't have, you need to get the access, then only we can use the ID in order to put the data to OS3 bucket. So we need to copy this ID. Okay, so let's uh, move on to our bucket over here. Now we have to create an index. So I'll just name it as S3 vector index. So here one, zero, two, four. So more the value, larger the dimension, it will take some more for storage. So here we are using cosine because we want to measure the similarity between the two vectors based upon the direction, not the magnitude. So you can use this Euclidean that it will compare two vectors using both directions and magnitude. But we will just go ahead with the similarity one. So we we'll just click create index. So our index is also being created. Now I'll move on to the S3 over here from the VS code. So you can see over here, you can uh, just run a few commands over here. Let me show you. So if you haven't installed this, you need to install this uh, pip install S3 vector, vectors embed CLI. Make it sure you're having the uh, configure the credentials before and the profile is added to it. Now here, I will just change my bucket name. So you can see I have copied the model ID. So this is a command basically. I'll just put in the video description this command. So our bucket name is JS1. So index name is the same and the model ID is the same one that I'll be using. Let's say instead of hello world, let's put something else. Let's put it over here, my car battery drop down or something like that. So we press enter. So it will save this value in our S3 vector. So we have this access denied. Let me check, I think I need to put the V2 version. Yes, because I was using V2. Some exception is there. Okay, let me copy from there one more time. And you can see over here, my model ID is V2 colon zero. So that was the mistake over here. I'll just put it over here, V2 colon zero. Now press enter. So we are using the CLI in order to put the data. So you can see this model has uh, converted that uh, vector data and saved it in our S3 vector. Now in order to see the vector content, I'll just show you how we can see it in the open search. But let's save some more uh, data over here. Let's say car, something like a car, battery not working. Now, next thing we will just query down, but we query it. So bucket name is, so here, I'll just put it over here, something like the scar. And we can see the results. So K10 is, is, is equal to like basically the number of records. It's fine. We just have just not two. So I'll just input car. Let's see what's the outcomes. So we can see over here, it has returned me two values. So this is how it works. Now, we cannot see the vector data that has been created. In order to see, I'll just show you something with the open search. So you can just see a few things like results found to over here and these are the extreme with embed source content. So I'm just showing you with the data. You can, if you go to the uh, GitHub over here, you can see uh, all the options over here. If you have local text files, uh, file path, or some wild characters, 
or if you have something in your S3 bucket that you want to convert it, and you can query, you can save the images also, everything. Now coming back to our index over here, so let's choose this one, and you can see over here, export to open search. It will take some time, so once the status is being updated, so we can see the vector data over there. It has loaded over here, you can see over here, that is the vector index, that is the bucket index ARN, and choose and use new role, it's fine. So, uh, next topic we have to do over here, just we have to click export. So this is how we can, um, it's integration with the Amazon Open Source Service, we can utilize this. It will take some time, so you can see over here, uh, there is an option over here, S3 Vector Import History, you can see it's still creating, so let the status get changed. So we can, this is the option over here. Okay, so once this one is done, so we can just go to this option over here and let this one complete, then we will see. It's still under creating stage. So let it complete, then we'll see the next option. So you can see over here, once the import history is being done, so you can see it's still in progress anyways, we can just go to the collections over here and you can see i think i press three times maybe just the reason so anyways we can go to the open search dashboard over here so we can discover what is telling you to create an index index pattern that need to be the tribe data by using the open search so we just go to the dashboard over here let's create an index pattern so i'll just copy this one over here so Next, I'm not clicking anywhere else, just next and create the index. Okay. So these are the values over here. Okay, let it be there. Let's see over here what we can see in the discover. So you can see these are the two vector data that was being inserted by us, like my car broke and my car battery, something like that. So you can see over here, these almost are 0 0.043. So this is how uh, like uh, your vector data is being saved in order to uh, like get a similarity uh, comparison using this vector data. So this numerical representation of our objects and all, so it will like basically it is describing the things and it is being created by our embedded models. So this is how uh, we can utilize this, this our vector data. So you can see most of the values are nearby values. So this is the vector data. So this is the vector data that is like basically used by the, all the emerging techniques, mostly by the generative AI applications to find similar data points to a given data, comparing the vector representation. Basically here we are doing a similarity matrix. So this is a numerical representation of our unstructured data that has been created by our embedded models. So I hope you got a clear idea about uh, S3 vector buckets and how we can uh, utilize it, how we can put the data, how we can query the data. So do give a try to it and do let me know if you are able to uh, utilize the put, the CLI, basically the AWS S3 embed CLI. So you can keep on watching this uh, GitHub over here. I will share this one so you can go through these examples one by one. So I hope I was able to explain this, how we can utilize this S3 vector buckets is still in the preview mode so we will see how what else we can do with this s3 vectors so please do like share subscribe to my channel thanks for watching